Welcome back to our channel. You haven't seen me in a while because I've been really busy with school. Um, I just finished my third semester of medical school yesterday and I have been wanting to say something about this bag for so long, but I've just been so busy and then the weekends I have to study out things going on. But now that I'm done, I have time. So today I'll be doing a review on the Gucci Aphrodite bag. I got this gifted to me for Christmas. It comes in a small, a medium, and a large. But I will specifically talk about the one I have, which is the small. And at the time that I'm making this video, it only comes in four colors, pink, green, white, and black. So for the longest time, I've just been shopping, carrying my wallet like in a shopping bag or just holding it with me. Or I have like my little camera bag that I put my camera in and also like I would throw in my lip gloss and everything in there. A lot of the smaller size bags I've been finding have been like too slim or it alters the shape of the bag with how big this camera is. So really I've been looking for a bag that has that's big enough to hold my phone, my keys, my lip gloss, and then my camera. And just some backstory behind this, so I have never had a purse before. Uh, well, just kidding. In high school I worked two jobs, two retail jobs, and they were having like a 4th of July sale and I was like, you know what? I have never owned a purse and I really want one and so I went and got one for myself. It was like a Kate Spade one. But yeah, so it's been like seven or eight years and I haven't ever gotten one because I've been looking for one for a while but it never fit the perfect size, the perfect aesthetic I wanted and I wanted like the timeless classy look that this one offers. And honestly, I wasn't even going in looking for one. We were just walking around and this caught my eye instantly and I walked in and we were like, can we try this one on? And then I tried on a couple of other ones and none of them really felt like exactly what I was looking for because I'm not really one to just spend just to have a purse. Like I kind of want to make sure it has all the functions I want, the aesthetics I wanted, everything like basically perfect. I'm really, really happy with it and I really, really recommend it. Luckily with this, uh, you can see from the side like how big it is and I can, I can hold my camera in it pretty perfectly. So that's been a huge plus for this. Yeah, so first impressions, I definitely walked in and I felt it and it was very elegant. And then the logo is also smaller than the other ones, um, which I really like. And honestly, this is the best bag of all the ones I've seen. I tried on so many when I was in there because um, I was getting this as a gift. And we wanted to make sure I got like the perfect one, so I tried on so many. And this is definitely the one that stood out the most to me. Just because of its size, it's like classic timeless look and then also it's width on the side. So it's a small bag while also being able to hold so much. One of the unique things about this bag is that it comes with three straps. So it has, oh, so it has this black leather one, the shorter one, and it also comes with a gold one that you can switch it out with, which I will show you in a second, but you can switch that out. And it also comes with a longer one. So if you want to wear it as like a crossbody, um, you can do that with this. So this one's just a little bit longer than this one. And the straps are also very easy to put on. So I just put on one but it slides on pretty simply. Just like that, you just press it on. And, then you're done. and this is how it came in the, in the actual store. Whenever I walked in, it was kind of displayed like this. So I'm just gonna show you what they all look like with all the different straps. The one that I wear the most, just because it's more of like a day-to-day -day simple look. If I wanna dress it up, I'll wear the gold strap, which I'll put on right now. Okay, and then this is when I replace it with the gold strap. So it has this kind of like chain link design to it. I usually take this chain out whenever it's more of like a fancier night or if I'm going to a really nice restaurant. The long one is just an extension of the first one. But I really wanted to show you the gold chain because I feel like that was a huge part of why I bought it as well. Also, you can see in the strap it says made in Italy, which I think is super cool. And here's a close-up of the zipper. And you can see that it's really roomy inside. And in comparison to the Lululemon Fanny Pack, which zips a lot smoother and more easily, the Aphrodite has more of a sturdy zip to it, but whenever I put it on, it feels a lot more secure. And the size of this is 9.9 .9 inches by 7.5 by 2.8. Okay, and I wanted to compare this to the Saint Laurent Hobo bag, and the sizes are pretty comparable, and the widths on the side are pretty much the same. But I would say that the Aphrodite just holds a little bit more. And then I thought I would show what can fit in here. In this bag, just for size references, I definitely wanted my camera to fit. So I'll go and put that in there. A phone and wallet. Altoids. AirPods. Two lip glosses. I mean, honestly, that's all I would really need. I don't even really need the Altoids and, and the AirPods. But just to show what can fit in here, I thought I would just put some random stuff in here and then just like show y'all everything. So I'll put my camera charger tied to go because you never know when you have stains my camera charger 
I mean, my phone charger. I really don't carry around like three lip glosses, but I'll put another lip gloss. Some hand sanitizer. Okay, that fits pretty comfortably. So I won't add any more. But this is what it looks like with everything in it. It doesn't really bulge out too much, which I really like. And I'll show you what, what all the stuff I put in here like next to each other. I'll put it in here. Okay, so this is all the stuff that I was able to fit in that purse comfortably. Like I definitely could have stuffed a little bit more if I wanted to, but that's a pretty good amount, I'd say. And for reference, I was actually talking to someone about this and they were like, I would want to know how much it would fit in like a normal item that I would have around the house. A lot of people I know have started getting these, these like Lululemon fanny packs. So I'm just gonna see how much of this stuff I can fit into here for size reference. That's all I can put in here for it to fit comfortably and zip up. And this is what I have left. So it's just a little bigger than this in terms of compartment purposes. But you could definitely fit more into the purse if you want to. I just didn't want to like force anything in there. But in general, it fits about the same size, same amount of stuff as this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this review. I hope it was helpful. I definitely recommend it. I've worn it out a couple of times and I always feel like it fits everything perfectly. Like it always matches something. And if you want to dress it up or dress it down, you can. And it's also good for travel if you want, don't want to have to carry it. You can always wear the crossbody extender. And the woman who was helping us out was super, super helpful. And she told us that this bag had just come in about three weeks before I came in. So it's it was selling out fast. They only had like a handful in the store. And then when we came by two days later, like it was already gone. Um, I think that covers everything. I'll see you next time.